college students are hit the hardest by voter ID uh, restrictions. So there are currently uh, states like Alabama, Kansas, South Carolina, Texas, Tennessee, Wisconsin that force college students to show state-issued ID if they want to uh, vote in that state. But the only problem is a lot of these students travel to other states to go to school and they don't get state-issued ID. So when the primaries come around, they don't have you know, the ability to vote. And it's a disaster because who usually votes for Democrats? Younger people. Younger people vote for Democrats. So it's really interesting because the college Democrats are very upset about this. Um, but when it comes to the college Republicans, they're like, what? We're trying to get rid of voter fraud. Not a big deal. Okay, let me tell you a couple of things. Uh, the Republicans have been trying everything under the stars to try to get as little people to vote as possible. We've covered 800 stories on this. Uh, like okay, if you ever got a uh, had a felony record, that's it. You're gone. If you don't have uh, you know uh, proper identification within the state, you're gone. Which means like if you live in New York, you have, and you're in Manhattan, you have no reason to drive. You don't have a driver's license. Sorry, sorry, can't vote. Right? Turns out 25 percent of African Americans in this country do not have picture IDs. They're citizens, they have the right to vote. They don't have a picture ID. Picture ID costs money. It's a new yes. form of a poll tax, basically, right? Uh, you know, to go through a process, et cetera, et cetera, right? Uh, now they're doing it to students. Why? They're targeting everyone who has a higher percentage chance of voting Democratic. And they always do it under the guise of voter fraud. How many voter fraud cases are there? Almost none, okay? They can't find any. It isn't a real problem. In fact, when Karl Rove demanded that all the U.S. attorneys go find voter fraud cases to prosecute, Republican attorney generals kept coming back, like the one in New Mexico, saying, I tried. There are no cases. What do you want me to do, bring up a fake case? Rove goes, that's interesting, you're fired, mm -hmm. okay? That's why that US, they had that U.S. attorney scandal, right? You either bring up voter fraud cases, because we don't care about voter fraud. We want to use it as an excuse to make sure people who normally vote Democratic don't get a chance to vote, or you're fired, okay? That's what they did under Bush, and now they're trying to get it passed state by state uh, through Republican legislators. Yeah, it's nice to see that they believe in democracy and the ability for everyone to practice their constitutional rights. Yeah, and this goes back decades, by the way. One of the uh, original uh, godfathers of this conservative movement said, look, let's be honest, we don't want people who aren't going to vote for us voting. So <laughs> we're not interested in, like, kumbaya democracy. We're interested in winning, and that's it. So it, it's, it's sick, man. Look, I get it, man. You fight within uh, the rules, and you fight hard. So on the day of election, you want to drive voter turnout. You get extra buses. Republicans have more money than Democrats. That's a sad day. That's totally within the rules. You get buses, you ship your people in, you bring them in, you offer donuts, you do whatever you need to do. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you restrict people from voting who are American citizens, that is totally anti-democratic and totally unacceptable and unfortunately happening all across the country. And by the way, if you don't like it, it doesn't matter if you're in one of those groups or not. Vote them out. Vote them out. I mean, it's one thing. if. The Democratic Party was like, hey, you know what? Not that I really like the Democratic Party, but they're like, okay, I'm, uh, you know, I'm good on all the issues. Plus, I'd like to make sure that uh, uh, old white people don't vote. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, no, no, I'm not going to sign on to that. What do you mean, old white people don't get to vote? That's the craziest thing yeah, I ever heard. Sounds kind of good. No, ah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Don't freak out. <laughs> I wouldn't vote for that party. Uh -huh. I'd throw their asses out, right? I don't know. Maybe with the Republicans. It's uh, I'm talking like maybe their voters don't care. They're like, oh, young people don't vote. People that aren't like us don't vote. Great. There was um, a Tea Party member who was quoted in uh, this uh, political article, and he was basically saying, like, yeah, how, why are we giving young people uh, the right to do same day voter registration? He's like, that doesn't make any sense. They're just going to do what I did when I was young. Uh, I'm going to get all riled up on election day, and I'm going to go vote liberal. Mm -hmm. So, like, what, what's wrong with that? If people get riled up on election day and they want to vote liberal, that's their right to do that. Of course! Yeah. Of course! Yeah, no, the Republicans, as usual. Like, they, you know what, they, it's, they're not just the worst. It's like, as frustrated as we get with the Democrats mm -hmm. and how useless they are, Republicans always find a way to outdo them. Yeah. So, congratulations. And, you know, real quick, there's a little divide amongst 
like the Occupy protesters, right? Because there's a group of them that believe that you should still practice uh, your right to vote, and it's an important thing to do. And there are others who just don't believe in our system anymore, and they're like, it's a wasted effort. Don't waste your time. Don't focus on voting. We got to completely change the, shift, uh, the, the system. And, you know, Van Jones came out and said, no, 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 you guys got to do both, okay? You guys got to vote, and it's really important. But it's interesting to see that a lot of people out there now just don't believe that their vote matters. It just doesn't, it doesn't count. So I'm in a, I have a unique position on that, which uh -huh. is that your vote doesn't count and make sure you vote. Okay, so, but then make sure that you fight back to it so that your vote does count. So this is what I mean by that. I get that money matters more, obviously, no one understands that better than I do. Uh, but still, there are differences uh, in any particular race, right? And sad day, politics is 90% of the time, even in a system that works, voting for the lesser of two evils, right? Yeah, one guy sucks, the other one guy sucks more. That's life in the big city. You gotta make sure that the guy who sucks more doesn't get in. But that's not the end of the equation. What drives me crazy is when people say, well, okay, mission accomplished. No, you gotta fix the system. That's more important than anything else. So, but when it comes to money, that's a different thing. Donations, do you see what I'm saying? You should vote under uh, all circumstances because it always makes a difference in some way. But when it comes to donations, if you say, I'm not gonna give it to the Democratic Party, instead I'm gonna give it to a movement, let's say Dylan Radigan's movement, mm -hmm. to get money out of politics. I say that's the most logical thing I've ever heard. Or Wolfpack's movement? Or perhaps wolf-pack.com, you can go there and volunteer or give a donation so we can go kick their ass. Absolutely.